If you're anything like me, you like your hobbies, and those hobbies require gear. Usually, we chuck our gear into bins like this. I've used this system for about 10 years now. I have several of these, and they work decently for the price. Back when I purchased these, it was probably 2016, so almost 10 years, and we got a set of these. Uh, Lowe's, cheap bins, 12 bucks and we put different gear in different bins. That helps separate the gear within different bins, but within each bin lies a huge mess. I'm gonna show you what I have in this bin, which is kind of my primary bin that I was using this summer to organize my, well, organize my running and cycling gear. So I have my cycling shoes, a pair of running shoes, road to trail, so I could kind of do both with those running vest, running poles, some Hydropack Sky Flasks, some handheld water bottles, and then a bunch of loose items at the bottom that usually sink to the bottom because there's no dividers in this system. Some knack, bike tools, bike lights, extra things like a windbreaker, some merino gloves, some extra flasks for the vest, some waffles, gels, everything just in a box loosely. And you can organize it. I organized this thing a few times this summer, but it always ends up looking like this because there's no organization within the box. It's just a box of things. Income, Kitworks. Kitworks is a new company. They just started this year in January. And I kindly requested some product to test out for the channel. Now this isn't my full review as I just got the kit maybe two days ago, but I have been playing around with the kit and I'm gonna show you how I've organized my things and talk a little bit about the system. So let's dive into it. So this is the Kitworks Gearbox. It is a 75 liter capacity box and you can organize it in so many ways that are unique to you and whatever adventures you wanna take slash whatever gear you wanna bring for those adventures. I'm gonna primarily focus on this, but I do wanna mention two products that they also sent out my way. First being an everyday tote. This is a pretty minimal tote and it is part of the system. If you separate the dividers within, you can actually fit this gear tote sideways in half of the system if you want an easily removable part in the gearbox. They also sent me this 35 liter gear tote, which is pretty sick. It's like a tote bag with a lot of organization within, has some side pockets, but it also has these Molly adjustable spaces for anything that's Molly compatible. Like if you have Molly bags or accessories, you can attach them to any part of these systems, which is pretty sweet. So let's run through the gearbox and I'll show you guys kind of how I set it up for cycling and running and for my specific needs. I'll briefly mention that this was sent to me for the purpose of review, so I did not pay for it. It is on the pricier side, but if you care about gear and organization matters to you, I think it's well worth it. So before we get into the tote, I'm going to show you guys the construction. It's really hard to tell on camera how well this is made. And sure, you can check out pictures on a website, but I really wish you guys could touch, feel this whole system. On all the sides, it has these adjustable Molly slots, so you can put any Molly system bag that you own, whether that's Kitworks or not. On this side is their double flap uh, bag. And on the outside, for now, I've chosen to put gels. Reason being, if they pop, burst, I'm always thinking that they're gonna pop and burst within the system and just make all my gear sticky. So I've put them in here in case they do burst. I mean, it's pretty easily washable inside. On this side, I have more nutrition, some knack waffles, and some ready-to-go nutrition um, carb mix from Knack that is just already pre-scooped so I can make four bottles of 500 milliliter carb mix with these. Again, keep those on the outside so I don't have to dive in if I'm uh, ready to go on a run and I have the system in the truck. Don't have to open the whole system. I do have more nutrition within the system that you guys will see, but this is just easily accessible. 
the box is symmetrical so it doesn't really have a front or a back you can make the front or the back whatever way you want but the lid is asymmetrical in the sense that it has a kitworks logo on top on one side so that is how i remember where the front is because the box itself doesn't have a front or a back so editing me realized that i forgot to mention this other side pocket while i was going around the outside uh, it's just a mesh pocket, but again, I keep the sky flask in here for a particular reason. Uh, reason being, if I want to fill these up, put some carb mix in them, and take the system to a trailhead, I will not have a fear of these things leaking within the system because they're on the outside. So both sky flasks are on the outside. Uh, they're empty right now, but of course I could fill them up and not worry about getting any water within the system back to the video all right let's get into this i'll show you guys um, the beauty of this system to get in with these buckles it is kind of fiddly at first but you'll quickly realize that all you have to do is press on the edge with the clip and it pops up like that then you can slide the buckle off and you're in i do think that it would be based on the price of the system super nice if one side of the system was fidlock so you can quickly attach it and then quickly pop it open that's just something to think about kit works voila everything organized this is so awesome even just opening it again makes me happy but let's there's a lot going on here so i'm going to run through it all without making this video super super long but uh i do tend to ramble when i'm talking about gear so apologies if this video is long but hopefully you enjoy it so let's start with the lid. Up top, we got some organizers. Um, you can attach anything really to them. I have a couple bike tools, a knife. Um, you can have pens if you really want pens in here. Over here we have, this is all Velcro or hook and loop patched. So you can remove any of these bags, place them wherever you want within the lid. Up here I have all my bike lights. So nice place for the bike lights. They're not fumbling around a box. Down here I have some extra accessories, battery pack, uh, headlamp, things like that. Again, everything is movable. Like I mentioned, everything is purchased independently. So you could build your system however you want it. Nothing comes with the system. You kind of purchase the system. Yeah, exactly how, how you want it. So you don't have to buy all of this. You can buy the gearbox and the dividers and start with that and then build it out as you see fit. They also make these really cool labels, which again are hook and loop. So you can attach them to different spaces in your system. I have a cycle one here, which has helmet and shoes, things like that. They also have gear labels that are blank so you can write on them and you know make make any sort of label that you want. I have not written on my gear labels because I want to figure out how I'm going to set it all up and then write on them and uh, yeah, just make it solid when I get the chance. One more suggestion that I thought of for the system that I think would be so sick is sell a couple straps that would attach to the side of the system. There's two big nylon straps here and in the middle of both ends of, of the top. If they could just attach right here, that way when you open it, it could just kind of rest based on the straps. That would be so awesome because you could attach bike tools here and just open the system and kind of work on your bike with the tools, kind of like I have here on a pegboard. I'm going to let this fall down now so that we can get into the meat of the box. So as I mentioned, first one has helmet and cycling shoes. I'm going to put things back in where they go so that they're not all over the table, but helmet and cycling shoes in one compartment here. Again, these dividers are movable and you can place them wherever in the system. The whole inner wall of the system is lined with both a Molly webbing option, but it's also um, the soft side of the hook and loop tabs. So you can hook and loop anything, uh, that you want on the system, which is pretty sweet. If you think about it like a camera bag, if you're into photography, it's just like that, but a big gear tote. 
This one over here, I have one of their Kitworks pouches. I believe this is the large size. I threw the tools label on there. I don't have really any tools in there. Uh, but when you open the pouch, it does have a mesh separating the front of it so you can organize it within. I have some chain lube, a patch kit, and some plugs in here. On the other side, I have an extra pair of sunglasses, um, some umbras, and then again, my windbreaker merino gloves and a little merino like cap beanie. Uh, just can go under a helmet really thin, but really warm. So that again, the large pouch fits perfectly on what I guess would be like one eighth of the box. And this isn't even stuffed out, but I'm sure I could put plenty more kit in here and have plenty of space still to slide it in. In the other corner of the system, I have more NAC nutrition, so more energy bars. These are caffeinated bars by NAC, amazing. And if you are feeling like not getting a workout or ride in, take one of these 65 milligrams of caffeine and you're good to go. Use my code Romero15 for NAC. Uh, I get a little kickback, but you get 15% off your order too. NAC Nutrition, just been supporting the channel and have been loving their stuff. Uh, what else do I have in here? I guess I have Boost Energy, a broken box. See, this box is broken because it was in the old gear tote and it was just getting smashed around. Within there, I have some uh, electrolytes, some protein bars, bottom of the system or this compartment I have a huge box of mixed flavors of knack waffles again broken box because it was just getting tossed around within the other system over here I've separated these two compartments to have two different types of running shoes I use topo athletic because of that wide toe box but these are the topo ultra venture 4 which is like a, the hybrid road to trail shoe over here, I got my road shoes, the Topo Phantom Force, which man, they're beaten up, <laughs> but uh, love this road shoe. So two different kinds of shoes in case I want to get a road run in, or if there's some trails, I can explore some trails. And in the far corner, I have the vest with the poles. The poles, I use 120 centimeter poles, and obviously they're a trifold design, but they fit not standing up, but if you just lie them slightly, they'll fit. The gear box lid will close. Everything's kosher there. Um, I usually would keep my running belt in there as well, but that is one of the items that I use almost daily for running. So it's upstairs um, in the closet for now. But yeah, that is the system. Again, you can move this around and I will play with it, tweak it, uh, change the labels. Everything on the system is super designed by you, really. Um, they design the products that you then kind of shape into whatever kind of system you want, which is so sick. Uh, that, is, that is the system. Let's close this, this lid up. The lid has a nice, like, you'll feel that it's not closed, but when you... Uh, Kind of push the corners down it hugs the gearbox really well uh, for the most part it's pretty pretty secure that i don't even think i have to secure it with the latch uh, of course if i think that it's going to be shaking around in the bed of the truck i might but once you get these front straps and buckles in and you kind of just tighten the strap like this that's not going anywhere and it does have a little lip for the nylon strap so it's really not gonna go anywhere. Um, and it'll just make it easier to open, get in and out of the system. But that is it, super stoked with the Kitworks and Gearbox. Again, there's so many products within this thing that uh, I can't really seem to mention them all, but this is just first impressions, super pleased with the system. Would like to see some of those options available, things like a Fidlock opening system, at least on one side, and the straps on the side would be so awesome to have that gear lid just propped up. You get displayed, you know, your system, what you have, your tools, everything you need 
without having to rest it on a wall because of course you can rest it on a wall but it would just be super nice to have the lid propped up and remain propped up for your use. That is it guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Kitworks for sending this out. Pretty stoked on how this should change the organization of my gear for both running, cycling, uh, do some fishing too. So I might, might change this up when, when uh, I go fishing. So yeah, that is it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the Kitwork system. It is a hefty price tag for the system that uh, doesn't go over my head. Uh, so I appreciate Kitwork sending one out for testing and uh, for me to use. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you get something like this? Is it too pricey? I, don't, I wish you guys could feel the quality of this thing. Because it is, it is a very top-notch quality. Uh, stay tuned for more. Going to review this product in a few weeks after some uses. Hopefully get some trips uh, up to the parents' house or wherever I go. This thing will be coming with me and storing my gear without a problem. Thank you guys. Peace.